Greetings, readers of Pez Chronicles. Yes, it's me again, recording again, using a different microphone this time, a phone microphone, so I hope the quality is okay. It's half time. And there's the current stats. It's nil nil. Castle Dime was booked, or Castle Dine, or Castle Dean was booked during that first half. Not a great first half. I don't know why I'm recording the second half, but I hope things happen. Let's have a look. I'll just show you my team at the moment. There they are. This is the team I've returned to after five months away. Let's get on with the game. The whole second half coming up with me commentating. Isn't this exciting? There's Matthew, or Mathieu. Sending him on a run. He's nothing like his Pez 5 self. But he's good enough. He was good enough to play for Barcelona for all those years in real life. He's good enough to play for my team now. Go on. Ooh. Nearly a classic Pez moment then. Let's have a look at that on the replay. That player who just had his shot blocked is one of my youth prospects. This is Juan Fran. Not a great shooter, but that was nearly a great goal. Ibrahimovic and Drogba up front. So far, they haven't really gelled. This is only about three or four matches into Drogba's time with me or with us or with them or whatever the nomenclature is. I've been watching a lot of Upstart Crow. That's Ben Elton's new uh, sitcom about, well, it's a, a kind of a blackadder take on the life and times of the mature William Shakespeare. And one of the best bits of it for me is Mark Heap. Now, if you've been watching Upstart Crow, you'll know instantly that I mean the man who plays Robert Green, who's the man who coined the phrase Upstart Crow in relation to Shakespeare. But he's most famous, in my mind anyway, for being in Spaced. That's the late 90s Simon Pegg, Jessica Stevenson, as she was then, comedy vehicle. Um about some flatmates who were in the 90s and doing 90s things. Mark Heap played the downstairs artist neighbour, whose name I forget now. Might have been Brian. No, that was the dog. But anyway, Mark Heap, this is the first thing, Upstart Crow, is the first thing I've seen him in. Since Spaced, really. Well, I've seen him in bits and bobs, but Upstart Crow... Let's just have a look here, see what happens. Ooh, nothing. Not playing well here, am I? Upstart Crow is the first thing I've seen him in that, you know, really has any meat to it. And he plays Robert Green very well. William Shakespeare, like that. He's, he's kind of, ooh, here we go. Let's just break off and concentrate on the football for a moment, shall we? What am I going to do here? Nothing again. I'm going to have to start concentrating on the game, I'm afraid, lads. And any strange lasses out there watching and... Oh, here we go. Drogba's first goal. No. No, it's not. Should have scored there. Should have scored. See the way the ball was, was won back by me on the edge of the area there. That was a typically Pez 2016 way of winning the ball back. Don't really like it. I'm just going to pause this for a moment. Pause it for a moment while I... Well, you'll hear what I'm doing. I'm making a cup of tea. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm just dunking the tea bag. This is how I pass my Pez time, you know. It's not a pass time, it's a Pez time. Fuck it now, material like this, I'm wasted on YouTube. Anyway, 
I was talking about Mark Heap and uh, Robert Green and Upstart Crow. If you have even the faintest interest in Blackadder, Ben Elton or even William Shakespeare and you've missed Upstart Crow, which let's face it, most people have viewing figures for even great TV are not what they used to be, then catch up with it. Highly recommended. Ah, that's nice tea, that is. Anyway, <clears throat> back to the football. I hope this recording turns out well. I don't know about the sound quality here. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to try and concentrate on the football here. Castle Dine, come on. Right, general thoughts about being back on PES 2016 after all this time. Very pleasantly surprised. Very pleasantly surprised. I'm just going to suspend that thought while I try and get something going here. Need to concentrate. For all PES 2016's arcadiness, it is very easy to lose the ball. Well, it's very easy for me to lose the ball. And you would think I can get that. Yes. Sliding tackle up there. I don't like that, you see. That kind of move I just pulled off with Milligan there. You shouldn't be able to do that in a proper football game. It was a ridiculously wide slide tackle and it just shouldn't have happened. Here we go. Mm. No. No, I wasn't patient enough there. Right. I've forgotten what I was talking about. Yes, being back on PES 2016 after all this time. Very pleasantly surprised. Um, it's very playable, very likeable PES 2016. What it's not, of course, is anything like the old PES games in terms of sturdiness and taking taking it seriously -ness. It just isn't the same. It hasn't got the same authority. That's it. PES 2016 lacks authority as a PES game. That's it in a nutshell. The authority that the old PS2 games had is completely missing in this. What do, what do I mean by authority? I mean... Uh, very difficult to define this, but I'll give it a go. Authority in football gaming arises from a sense that you are contending against or with a system of gameplay values that is not keen to please you. Yeah. Yeah. You are not going to be pampered in a football game that has proper authority. You're not going to be able to slide tackle from six feet away and come away with the ball or upend the player and not give away a foul. In football gaming and in PES is something that is absent when you are able to go through an entire game, an entire match, as I am doing now, without a single free kick. Authority in football gaming is missing when you're able to slide tackle with any player from six feet away. Authority in football gaming is kind of enhanced by a nil-nil draw, as this was. I just noticed the game had ended. I wish I'd recorded the whole match now. I will do this again um, soon, maybe next time, for a whole match. And... Yeah, that, that ends my thoughts on Arsenal v Coventry City, the second half. All I can say is, um, watch Upstart Crow, if you haven't already. And feel free to keep on doing whatever you do. Cheers.